Today, I'm going to be talking about the Unsullied. I cannot get this out of my mind. Watching the Game of Thrones, it has completely thrown me into intrigue about this idea of the unsullied people. So if you don't know what I'm talking about and you're not a fan of Game of Thrones and you haven't been following the series, the unsullied are basically an army that has been put together in which uh, they are men that have been castrated. Now, they don't really give you a ton of information on when the castration happened, if they actually still feel desire, um, if they've taken off their penis and their testicles. So they've kind of kept that part a secret. But going through and watching the video and doing my own research on it, I came up with my own idea of what the Unsullied is and looked at it from different perspectives. Um, actually getting into research on some men who have been castrated. And this is not something new. This is something that has happened throughout our history where they will castrate men um, in armies. I mean, there was a whole uh, army of men in China that they had castrated many, many years back. Uh, they have done castration on men to try to decrease their sexual desire. So this topic is not something new, but I think it's really interesting and I wanted to bring to you some light on this, this topic of the Unsullied in Game of Thrones. So first of all, what I noticed, which I thought was interesting, is the men that they're showing you look like they couldn't have been castrated too young. They had to have gone through puberty because they have masculine features, they have facial hair, um, it looks as though that they are not growing breasts, which is something that can happen if a man gets castrated because he loses um, his testosterone and he can, um, estrogens can go up and they could form breasts. So from what I've seen so far, it looks like they must have been castrated definitely after puberty. And the other thing is they still can have desire. This is the part that I found interesting. So if you remove the testicles, uh, there's a very small amount of testosterone that still gets, um, still is produced from the adrenal gland. So there still is a little bit of testosterone, but for the most part, um, the testosterone is gone. Uh, but it still can leave them with desire. So this is the whole idea in the last scene. Hopefully this isn't a spoiler alert and people have watched the last scene of Game of Thrones. But they finally showed an unsullied man having sex with a woman. They didn't actually show if he had intercourse. And in fact, it looks like he didn't. He ended up going down on her and giving her oral sex. But he certainly had the desire and the attraction wanted to be with her. And so I think part of this uh, that intrigued me is that yes, men who have been castrated, they can still have desire. And um, they can sometimes have erections if of course their penis hasn't been taken away, but it's just their testicles. But this whole idea that they become completely asexual is not true. So, I just, uh, out of curiosity, uh, did this research and wanted to bring it to you, and I think this is such an interesting topic, and I know that I have done a video on uh, castration fetish, so there are men out there that even have a fetish towards this castration idea. So if you want to leave your comment uh, and you want to add to this conversation, love to hear what you have to say. If you like this video, give, give me a thumbs up, and of course, subscribe to my channel. I believe everyone deserves to have a healthy sex life. And so do you.